Inside the cockpit of the MI24D V&P, there's this wonderful animated fan. The Kursk map is much larger than you might think, and if you drive out far enough, the game gets very confused and changes the minimap to the air version. The Harrier GR1 has a countermeasure console, despite not having access to countermeasures. However, it's possible to use Dunfire rockets as makeshift flares. The achievement but how is achieved by shooting down a plane with your main gun while playing simulator mode. The achievement was created long ago when the game didn't have any modern content, so it's possible to achieve while playing a vehicle with a surface-to-air missile, as the missile technically counts as its main cannon, which yeah. seems a bit silly to me. If you want to easily find the new vehicles added in an update, click on Boost Research. You can then cycle between different nations and different trees, preparing to eject from your plane by tapping the J key will automatically open the cockpit so that you can conveniently perform plane adios. One big drawback of Russian tanks is the lack of gun depression, and the best example of this is the Russian Matilda. While the British Matilda can depress its gun 20 degrees, the Russian version of the tank can only depress the gun by 2 degrees. It's possible to achieve 101% engine throttle by using the mouse wheel to very precisely increase the thrust of your plane. I own a Spitfire signed by Flydaily and Squire. If you pay attention closely to the ARB maps, you can see where the seam of reality connects it to the rest of the universe. By placing the M46 on an incline, you can clip the camera inside the tank and have a nosy around. You can reload roof-mounted machine guns on capture points. If you're playing a plane with a wooden propeller and crash land, you can notice that the prop will snap off rather than bending backwards. The MiG-23 and 27 have a fin that deploys when you pull up the landing gear. The Type 62 machine gun has an aiming reticle in the stack card, but not in game. There is additional test flight content in the game called the Mission Editor. You can select the map, what kind of mission you want to play, the number of friendly and enemy aircraft, and what both teams will use. When you spawn, your allied teammates will even follow your flight path. But it is a little bit unfinished and a little bit janky. Oh my god, they're all going into the floor. No! Roses are red, War Thunder stock grind is agony. This video is sponsored by World War Army's classic real-time strategy. <laughs> Hypothetically, consider this. You're on the bus and you're heading home and you want to play a strategy game. But oh no, disaster. You've left your RGB gaming water-cooled tower at home and all you have is your phone. Not to worry because you can download World War Army's classic and play a real-time strategy game from the comfort of your mobile phone. With authentic World War II vehicles and infantry, you can experiment with different offensive and defensive maneuvers while in the battle and you can even scout ahead to develop a brilliant plan before you engage the enemy. Inspired by games like Company of Heroes and Steel Division, World War Army's features a variety of authentic World War II infantry and vehicles. Each unit has a different role as a damage dealer, healer or tank and each nation has unique generals with their own abilities where some launch airstrikes, others collect more resources. The game releases on June 30th, and if you sign up with my link in the description, you can unlock the M8 Greyhound and in-game tokens once you finish the tutorial. It's possible to hit a ground vehicle with a flare and create a damage x-ray. The Hedgehog Mortar on the Matilda is set for precisely 190 meters away on flat ground, which is helpful if you can precisely measure that distance. The Phantom's engines are still strong enough to fly the aircraft while having the drag chute open. Now that is a montage I want to watch. The Centurion Mark 1's machine gun can move independently inside the turret. It's not fixed to the turret ring rotation, so it might be the difference between getting a kill on an open top vehicle or not if your turret ring has been taken out. If you receive a free test drive out of the Warbond shop or a daily crate and crew the vehicle, you'll have the option to upgrade the qualification of that crew long after the test drive has expired. You can pause the test flight by pressing the P key. The Yak series of aircraft have their fuel gauge on the wing of the plane. You can actually get rid of all of the fuel tanks on the wing tips of the F-84G by equipping all of the HVAR rockets. This positively affects your flight characteristics, so even when playing the fighter role in ARB, you should bring full HVARs and dump them at the start of the match, and you actually have an advantage. The aircraft in the test drive have spawn protection. Moving during a track repair resets your repair time, but on this TRV you can use hull aim and the repair will continue. It's possible to torpedo float planes. The Reddit big brains seem divided on if this is actually possible in real life, so maybe one of you can explain in the comments. T-34s have the driver pedal linked to the transmission modelled. You can experience the nuke in first person by opening your artillery map just as the nuke gets dropped.
If you don't play the game for a long time or rarely buy premiums, there's a chance Gaijin will give you a 90% discount on any premium of your choice. The IPM1 and Automagic are rank 7 vehicles that don't have colorized stat card photographs. The French M10 has US crew models, despite having French voice lines. The F-105 has a refueling pod visually modelled inside the plane. I wonder if air refueling will ever be added to the game. When you press O to see the x-ray of the aircraft, you are actually able to see the pilot still manipulate the joystick and rudder controls. On the new Ground Forces test drive map, there's this cute little hidden camp in the middle of the forest. There is a small horn on the side of the T-26-4, but sadly it's not functional. Gaijin, please fix. The white lines painted on the outside of the fuselage of the IL-2 can be used in cockpit view as a bomb reticle. I was now going to explain how to use it, but honestly, I tried to watch a seven minute video that explained it. I was very confused. I gave up. If you want to use it, you're going to have to figure it out on your own. When you unlock new shells and accidentally create a bomb with far too many HE, it's possible to reselect the shells you want to take into the next life during the middle of the match. The Catalina can lower its gears in the water and drive on land, which I think makes it one of the only vehicles in the game that can exist on the water, on the land, and in the air, making it the ultimate multi-role vehicle in War Thunder. On the test flight Britain map, you can push around the tracks next to the spawn and the local infantry seem to be hunter resistant. Have you ever observed how matches on jungle seem to be a lot shorter than any other map in the game? This is because the map has half the normal tickets of any other map, which means you only have to control the caps for half the amount of time to win. You can use the gun zeroing distance to artificially increase the depression of vehicles with ATGMs. You can change whether or not the logo appears in screenshots in the War Thunder settings. It's impossible to place any decals on the Object 279's black camouflage. The background image for Assault Ground Arcade is stretched to fill the available space and is a wide boy. Pressing spacebar with the crew selected in the hangar will bring up the quick swap menu. Helicopters don't actually have to make contact with the ground to be repaired and rearmed. As with regular boosters, the effect of public boosters is diminished when there are multiple active in the match. When firing long bursts with the Falcon, the shell ejection ports open up to the side. If you accidentally activated ESS and don't want to be that guy who ruins the visibility for his entire team, you can just quickly turn off your engine to disable ESS. Not all premiums come fully spaded as the starter pack premiums are missing modules to help new players learn how modifications work in the game. The Object 268's Cannon Breach comes equipped with a very comfy seat for the gunner. The Leo 451 has a unique turret that uses two different machine gun designs for a single turret. If you click this question mark in the top right of the hangar, you can learn all about the hangar. There's a closed cockpit warning in the game. Unless you manually open your cockpit in mid-flight, it's possible to play thousands of matches and never see this message. Interestingly, the R2Y2 triggers this message with a normal takeoff. If a plane is considered dead but the pilot isn't, you can finish off the pilot and claim an assist. Not sure what this says about Gaijin's game design because it does seem like a bit of a war crime, but anything to grind faster, right? It's possible for your shell to shatter using Sabo rounds, but it's believed that the mechanic is not implemented quite as Gaijin intends, so it doesn't happen very often. There is an Among Us hidden in the Lavochkin 15. For a long time, the effective thickness of late war German tanks had a 5% debuff to the effective protection to simulate poor steel production process of late war German factories. It was an interesting idea that was ultimately removed in September of 2017. It's possible for a balloon to achieve a kill. I wonder how many total kills they've had over the almost decade of War Thunder video gaming. You can fly right through this building on the American test flight map. The PE2 stack card image is unlike any other plane as the photo is taken while on the ground. The monoplanes on ships magically change camo or become entirely different aircraft after being launched. It's still possible to break modules from a destroyed tank like tracks and cannon barrels even after the vehicle has been defeated. Before the Gaijin market, revenue share user skins were added directly to the game and you can still see a few examples in the game today. The Bacan 1C and Lorraine 155 uniquely have physical barrels that interact with walls and objects on War Thunder maps. The Foch's stat card calls the 15mm MG151 a machine gun instead of a cannon, while it would generally be considered a cannon where the identical weapon is mounted on the BF-109. The Focke-Wulf F8 carries the largest bomb attached to any fighter in the game. By hovering over the assist count in the tab screen, you can see where the assist came from 
AAA orders are the single most effective way to get a vast amount of silver lions quickly. Every time you kill a plane with a AAA order active, the rewards are tripled. And most importantly, that 3x modifier stacks with boosters that you have enabled. For example, I activated a 500% booster and with a AAA order active, I got 40,000 silver lions from a single kill. With the right booster, some luck and some skill, it's even possible to get millions of silver lions for a single match. Some early Russian fighters have an extension out of the wing that shows if the landing gear are in or out. You can set your favourite messages to keybinds to quickly say them in battle. I think if everyone right now bound thank you and bravo, the world would be a little bit of a better place. The rear of the ASU-57 can be shot off. On the Japanese AH-1S, the pilots in-game are modelled after the real-world pilots who operate the vehicle. And because the actual Japanese military genuinely used this camouflage on operational helicopters in the military, this skin is considered historical. The 50 caliber on the Chieftain is set with a muzzle velocity that is identical to the Hess shell and can be used to range enemy targets. Australian vehicles have their own unique pilot and crew models and even their own unique test flight. Shame about the unique tech tree though. The Tunguska in the helicopter test drive is the stock version of the vehicle. We know this because if we look closely, you can see the radar is the rectangular version only available on the stock vehicle. Apparently every map has astronomically accurate stars and if you look in the game files, you can see the longitude and latitude locations as well as the dates so that Gaiji can match the stars to how they would have been on wherever the map is set. But I have no idea what a Big Dipper looks like, so I'm not entirely sure how accurate this is. The German KV-2 tracks are a lot rustier than the Russian variant. I don't know what weird heebie-jeebie magic is going on over in arcade land, but your battle ratings are fucking mental. On the Italian airfield test flight map, these SM-79s will just randomly drop torpedoes into the ocean. The IKV-91105's engine is mounted diagonally. APFSDS rounds will dynamically change the icon in the stat card depending on the relative power of the top shell of the vehicle. Because of the Sunderland's wing and flying boat design, the bomb bay is a unique deploying rack thing. I own a bugged crate from the early days of the market that I like to keep in my inventory unopened for no reason. I assume it's rare, but maybe not. On certain holidays throughout the year, the artillery smoke is replaced by a fireworks effect. It's relatively subtle, so you might have even seen it without realising. Some ships, like HMS Spey, have very similar hedgehog rockets to those found on the Matilda Hedgehog. It's possible for you to join a game server and the game just decide, no, no one's spawning, and bleed tickets from both teams. Yeah, the tickets are going down. Bruh. Are you boys about to get a draw? <laughs> the game's ending. If you immediately press spectate after you die in ground forces, you will be spectating your own dead tank. And it's possible to use this to spot enemies and let your mates know about danger. When buying stuff from the Gaijin store, make sure you use my Gaijin affiliate link linked in the description because you'll get a 3% discount. And there's no reason not to use my link every single time you buy anything, otherwise you are literally wasting money.